Now that you've wound your rodent coil, it's time to connect it together. Now this part looks like an absolute mess, absolutely necessary, but it's hard to figure out. At least at first anyway. It looks like a mess, right? It looks like there's no control going on here. So what is actually going on with it? Well, we've separated everything out and we have a connection from one side to the other and we have an A channel and a B channel. It looks like a mess because there's 24 wires coming out of each bundle. Now, we need to make that 24 connections, okay? Or 22 connections and then have two open. So, here we go. Go over to our whiteboard here. And we're going to look at this as well. This is our multimeter. All we're going to do is set this to conductivity. Now that's it right there. Now if you want to hear a sound, you'll have this one. Some of these multimeters will be together. This one, however, was not. Anytime that these two connections come together, you hear the sound. Make it easy for you, right? So, first thing you do. We're going to go over to one of our sides. And we have them both sides coming out. Let's take a look at why. When you come out, you're going to finish. you got a side here and a side here. you got a red side. I'm going to call this side the blue side where the black tape is. Now, all we want to do is because they're a connection, this wire loops to this wire in the end. Now, all we need to do is connect one of the wires here to one of the wires here. That, they're two different colors, but they're the same wire. I did it this way so you guys can understand it better. So, when we look at this, we are going to take the wire here. And then we are going to test it. Here's what you're going to do. And it doesn't matter which side you put on what on the colors. Touch this side here. You're going to go to every single one of these and test them. Now, the one that buzzes is the one that you want. For simplicity's sakes, I'm just going to take this one here. Now, touch these two. They buzz together. All right, now we get started. You're looking for one wire out, 11 connections, one wire out. What does that mean? We're looking for a bundle on the left and a bundle on the right. The best way to do this is very simple. Once you have buzzed these together, you know that they are electrically connected. They're the same wire. Now, all I'm going to do is go right here. Now, I'm going to take any one from the blue side. So I'm going to take the most convenient and best location. And now I'm going to connect it. Now I have a connection, right? The next step is we go back to the wire over here. We can touch here. We see that they're connected, right? Now this wire is going to go back and loop into here and come back out this side. Now one of these is now going to be the wire that's connected in here. You see the loop? In this one over here, we go back through, we came up with this one, that's a connection, then it goes back in. Then we're going to come back to this side and find the connection. So as we go through each one, start touching each one, see this one is the connection. So now, going to bring that wire out. And we're going to take any one of the blue ones. Because again, it doesn't matter. We're just looking for a free wire to take. So we're going to take the best, closest one. And connect it. Now we got a connection. Now again, it's going to go back through the blue. Back to the red to this side. Now, we can test these are all connected. Now we're looking to find the next one. Okay, we find it over here. You bring it in. Then, again, we want any blue wire available. So we'll just take the closest best match and connect it. Now, we're doing it again. So what's the actual connection? We're going to do this until we get to 11 times. Okay? 
that's what we're gonna do the connection is simple it goes out this wire comes back over here and it goes down here that's the same wire each time so now that that's connected hopefully that made sense to you we have to get 11 now that we have it all connected this is channel A again when we go through our multimeter what we need to start to look at is this we started off here we found our first connection then we went on and connected the rest so now these two connect all those connections are made every single one of them if you put it here it'll buzz on every one of these every spot it's connected it'll buzz then it buzzes to this one that's channel A it's done 11 times so when we go to start channel B where do we start we simply just need to start again and this time we just need any random blue wire and we're going to start on that side so we're going to say okay I got this random blue wire I like we know that that's going to be the end of channel B now we're going to take our wire tester again touch here touch every one of these well, the ones that are open not the ones that are already taken this one was open no that wasn't it that wasn't it that no 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 yes okay so take the one that was a yes that's where we're starting okay now this is going to look a little haywire at this point because now once we get this and we know that we're electrically connected from B to B now we need to pick a blue wire go straight over connect right there that's our first connection now what do we need to do then again this is connected to here we now need to find where this ends up over here so we'll test it again so we'll simply take the one that tested now I need a random blue wire so I'll take the best available match come straight over and connect it right there now again we're looping in a system so the system goes in through this one back through this one and through this one back through this one continuously now I need this to be the same thing as this I need 11 times therefore I'm gonna test it all out until I get to the 11 times now that you see everything drawn it looks like an absolute disaster doesn't it but it all makes perfect sense if you simply follow the directions in the beginning you want a wire that comes from this side goes back around to this side and then connects this is why it's not explained a whole lot so let's get over here to this you can see in here that we have a lot of wires connected so let's see if we actually got what we wanted make sure our tester doesn't mess with us with the battery and then we're going to take each part let me see if I can't get you a little closer in depth so now I have this wire here pulled off this is where I started so every one of these every time I touch them now they're all connected now here's my last one now I have a channel this is my channel B as you can see we'll do it again it looks kind of hard to see see if I can't get you a better look we'll turn these up a little bit and you can see they're all wired together just like we wired it on the board I didn't solder any of these yet let's see if they're all right we started here 
Yep. Now that's one complete channel. So, we have the same thing done on this side of the wire. That's channel A, that was my channel B right there. That's why it looks like an absolute mess. Follow what I said on the board from the beginning. Start slow. One wire on each side. What I like to do, as you can see it right here, is I pin them back. You see these two wires right here? I pin one back and just tape it. And then I test them all, and when I get done with all the 11 connections that I have right here, I come back, and I take this last wire, and I put it right next to the beginning wire. That way I know this was my channel A. Between that one to that one, it's all electrically conductive through all 11 of these connections. Channel B. Here's our two wires right here. All electrically conductive through all of these. That's why it's hard to understand. Hopefully you guys get it. Hopefully I explained it well. But this has been one of the most confusing things that I had to look at because they generally skip over this. Take your time and test them one by one and you'll get through it. If you have any questions, let me know. This is going to be something that you're going to have to be patient with when you get the answer because if you don't understand what's going on right now, it's going to be kind of confusing. Hopefully one answer will clear it up for you. If not, you're going to have to watch the video again. Anyway, hopefully this helps you out. And uh, if you got any questions, just let me know. Thanks, guys.